We're turning the calendar and heading into the fall. And you know what that means, huge new releases. That's right, friends, summer is finally over, and that means we can look to the horizon in a new crop of games. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and let's dive in and check out some of the biggest titles coming in September 2023. Kicking us off is a game you may have heard of at least once or twice, Starfield. Easily one of, if not the biggest anticipated games of the year from Bethesda. The drama is thick, and I do mean thick around this launch, primarily because of its exclusivity to Xbox and PC. But hey, the truth is this one is going to line their spacesuits to the moon and beyond, so I can't imagine they're sweating that too much. The culmination of 20 years of Bethesda's work is on the line here as they introduce their first new universe in over two decades. It's a lot to take in, and in case you've been living under a rock, don't forget we have our Starfield Ultimate Preview video up on the channel now, which details everything. And I do mean everything you need to know ahead of launch. It's going to be one hell of a journey, and luckily, it's only a few days away. Players that order the Premium Edition and above will get Early Access, which technically kicks off on the 1st, so if you're thinking about playing, time is running out. Our team is also giving away three copies of Starfield, so be sure to check out the link in the description for all the details. After an insane launch, the team at Larian Studios is not slowing down with the release of Baldur's Gate 3, giving PlayStation 5 fans something to be distracted by while the rest of the world is reaching for the stars. BG3 has risen to the top of the charts, smashing a ton of records in the process, and the hype continues to build. Some pretty crazy stories have come out of this game's release, with players interacting with the world and story in some truly fascinating ways. If Farming Simulator 2023 is just a little too hardcore for you, the creators at Phoenix Lab have something a little more fayish. Fey Farm beckons all to escape to the magical island of Azoria to cultivate a cozy farmstead with up to three other players. Dozens of games have looked to capture that Stardew Valley magic before, but none have really managed to strike lightning. Fey Farm could be that game. One thing that stands out is that you'll be able to fully customize just about everything from your character, potions, animals, you name it. It looks like a decently good time, and as we all know, everything is better with magic. The party man himself, Bomberman, is making a return in Super Bomberman R2, touting the largest content drop in the series' history. R2 will feature new game modes, maps, and an offline mode. As someone that grew up playing Bomberman games, it's great to see the series continue, and despite the explosive nature of the games, it really is a wholesome experience, even if blowing up your friends is part of the process. Ubisoft's rolling up to the starting line once again with their all-new original racing sim, the Crew Motorfest. It looks like players will get to choose from a whole gamut of vehicles themed around modern marvels to classic American muscle. The lineup of vehicles is impressive, and if you're a car fanatic looking to get your fix of high-speed adrenaline pumping action, then this game might be for you. To put it plainly, there are enough cool cars in this game to make even Jay Leno sweat. The wildly popular board game turned digital tabletop game Gloomhaven is finally making its way to consoles after nearly three years on PC. The tactical RPG throws players into a wide variety of tile sets and attempts to fight the baddies, get rich, or die trying. The developers confirmed this comes with crossplay enabled, but no cross save, so you better settle in on your platform of choice and get comfortable. As someone that's played the game on PC, I have to say it's a great way to spend a Saturday night locked in a dungeon with a couple close friends and a whole host of enemies looking to kill you. If you follow the Mortal Kombat series, you're most likely getting ready for Mortal Kombat 1, or technically Mortal Kombat 12. It's both the sequel to 11 and officially the second reboot of the series. The game comes with your typical story mode, offline gameplay, and new cameo fighters that can assist players during combat. Expect a fresh take on this fighting staple, and after a huge year for the genre, there's a lot of pressure on the developers to really nail this launch. A new Souls-like is hitting the scene, and this time you play as a childhood favorite, Pinocchio, minus the notes. Up against the dark backdrop of the Belle Epoque era, this dark rendition of the life of a puppet sets the player down a path of bloodlust on a journey to find oneself. 
there is no shortage of Souls games out there to try, but the developers have a few tricks up their sleeves that make Lies of P quite the intriguing title. If this looks like your kind of game, good news, there's a demo on Steam that you can check out right now. After months, if not years of waiting, Party Animals finally hits the scene officially on September 20th. The premise is simple, disguising vicious and ruthless team tactics behind cute and cuddly animal assassins. The party brawler looks to compete with the likes of Fall Guys, albeit with a bigger play on cute animals and crazy physics. If you're looking to ruin a few friendships, Party Animals might be the perfect game for you. The high-octane co-op heist FPS is back in Payday 3. Forget retirement, there are some major scores out there as you look to bring New York City to its knees. Re-enter the crime world, become the thorn in the NYPD side, and plan the perfect heist alongside some friends and score that ultimate payday. Cyberpunk's first and only major expansion hits the mainstream alongside a giant 2.0 update. Phantom Liberty doesn't just bring a massive story update, the team is overhauling several core systems within the game, including a new cyberware system, vehicular combat, perk system, and the long-awaited new skill tree. Unfortunately, this is the first and only expansion planned for the game, as CD Projekt Red looks to the future with new IPs. If you put this game aside based on its poor launch, like so many, including yours truly, it might be the perfect time to pick it back up and give Night City a second look. Harvest Moon's 25th anniversary is here, and to celebrate, the team is releasing the Winds of Anthos. Players travel to the land of Anthos to help restore it to its former glory. It's exactly what you'd expect from a Harvest Moon title, allowing you to roam from town to town via mounts, marry your choice of partner, care for your farm, keep pets, and everything we've come to love about these games. It's a title fans have been looking forward to since the announcement last December, so hike up those overalls, grab your hoe, and take to the fields. Fans of the Dragon Quest, the adventure of Dai Manga, are primed for the release of Infinity Strash. The action RPG relives the events of Dai and the Disciples of Avon and their battle against the Dark Army. The high fidelity and true to style animations look great, and the title promises to be a true fan service, giving them hundreds of temples and story moments to experience. So that's September. Some huge games alongside some smaller titles, but nonetheless, a little something for everyone. There's plenty more we didn't have time to cover, so if there's a game on your radar you think the community should try, drop the title in the comment section down below. You better believe our team will be covering Starfield on day one, so if you're excited for the game, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up, and consider subscribing. We've got a lot of exciting content planned, so keep it right here and never miss a thing. You can also join us on Discord if you want to talk about great games and are for your chance to win free prizes and connect with the team. That link, as always, is below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.